Here is a 2024 Mini John Cooper Works in chili red over Mini Yours Leather Lounge Black. The JCW gives all the performance for your suspension, tuning the engine, giving you better brakes. Is it better than optioning an S? I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rides and 39 horsepower you will receive more with this. LED headlights and cornering lights, no fog lights because of the simple layout in the front. The gloss black element that's going to be all around the vehicle. That is because of the iconic trim, which blackens out the badges, highlighting the grill, the mirror caps, the whole roof, the back trim, and the lower diffuser, which when you get into the JCW, this is going to be the most performance styling on the exterior, but they also pack it underneath the hood with a 2.0 liter mini twin power turbo four cylinder, 228 horsepower, 236 pound feet of torque. This just weighs a touch over 2,900 pounds, which is hundred pounds heavier than the S, but that's also going to be getting 0.5 seconds slower than this. This is at 5.9 seconds. So you getting that quick speed. We have upgraded performance tires, 18 inch JCW circuit. It's a two tone and we're receiving upgraded brakes. That's why the calipers are painted red with the John Cooper works. Four pistons house in the front, a single piston floating caliper in the rear, tuned JCW suspension for the McPherson strut front and a multi-link rear suspension. So dynamically speaking, this is around 98.2 inches of a wheelbase. You're getting that fun to drive vehicle because you're right on the wheel well and you're getting the dynamics. So going back to the comparison, is it better than the S? I mean, the amount of amenities that you're getting in the sense of the performance, you're around $5,000 difference MSRP. When you option the iconic trim, both vehicles will increase over $7,000, but you may want to actually tick the box for optioning that because you'll get that eight speed automatic transmission, which in the S you'll get a seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission. And with the ZF eight speed automatic transmission, it has been known that it's just as fast as a dual clutch automatic transmission. That's why it's implemented here. Standard LED union jack, except the rear is gonna get more aggressive, starting with the spoiler on the top. We get an RC antenna instead of a shark fin antenna, which they already underestimate the power of a Mini Cooper. This, I would just unscrew and just play some tunes on the radio, but the lower gets the most aggressive of all of the two-door variants with the dual exhaust in the center gloss black around the diffuser. And when you're considering the dynamics, a near 50-50 weight distribution, a light vehicle with over 220 horsepower, you can understand why this is going to be a fun drive. 8.7 cubic feet of storage underneath the floor. We have more storage and it can hold itself. You can split fold the rear bench more or less in the back because this is a smaller vehicle, increasing cargo to 34 cubic feet. This is the John Cooper Works with over 220 horsepower. Let's go inside, start up so you can hear that exhaust note. Six-way manual adjustment for the front occupants. Heated front seats and the British flag. It's going to be in the headliner. Mini yours script and the British flag with manual cushion extensions for the front. Headroom starts off without too many issues as long as I don't move too much from side to side. And we have these sun shades on both sides so it makes it easier for no glare to come in. As for leg space, it is a pretty deep footwell for the front. Because of the iconic trim, we get that heads up display that just popped out through the dash. Harman Kardon upgraded sound system, the piano black that's going to be on the center for the passenger side and around all of the air vents, 8.8 .8 inch with navigation. Also because of that package, LED rings that's going to be around the infotainment screen. Apple CarPlay, Sirius XM, AM, FM, streaming Bluetooth audio. Put it into reverse. We have a 
reverse camera with front and rear parking sensors. The cool thing about these LED lights is when you are reversing, as you're noticing, hopefully it'll pop up soon, here we go. We get the beep, changes the color. That way you know how close you are to an object. Dual climate control settings, and underneath that we get the toggle switches to start the vehicle, turn that annoying auto start stop off, with USB ports, a 12 volt, and the key fob for the new Mini Cooper. Eight speed automatic transmission with the Mini Drive and it's going to be more sporty, opens up into a wireless charging pad and you can move this out the way and you really don't have anything. I kind of wish this was lifted up a bit because this is really low in which when you have this here, I can see nobody really utilizing that to the full potential. Napa leather steering wheel. John Cooper Works badging, multi-function, everything's going to be flat, even the paddle shifters. The gauge cluster is attached to the steering wheel, which can go through an array of information for the driver, including changing out the color design when you put it into sport or if you want to go more green. The door panels integrate into the dash by the air vents, and I like how they keep the Mini Cooper design that more or less mimics the grille for the door panel. It's gonna be more sporty, which you would expect. One touch up and down for the windows and a smaller storage pocket. And we have two moon roofs, one for the back occupants and one for the front with auto dimming rear view mirror and power adjusting side view mirrors. Going into the back, pull the lever. You know the routine. I've already adjusted the seat up a little bit. You're gonna get storage behind both of the front seats and it's going to not necessarily be bad if I'm not driving, but if I am, I'm not gonna be able to fit. Headspace is actually not that bad for backseat occupants. I like that we have our own moonroof. And on the side, everything is going to be hard materials, but we get the Harman card in and we get basically three cup holders. So it's just enough to keep us occupied. 228 horsepower, 236 pound-feet of torque, and that's going to go in easy math. 39 horsepower more than the S. 5.9 seconds, zero to 60. Everything's JCW. It's quick. It feels fun and athletic all at the same. And what I mean by that is I've already obviously been driving a little bit before the review, but to show you, look at this thing. <laughs> These are minis. on the exit and that's why they're so fun and playful because they just kind of slide around but they also grip with these sports tires sports tuned suspension it's a fun car i mean you can get in and out for cornering and you still have a decent amount of space for a daily use vehicle. It's not gonna be something that's too crazy for a larger family, but if it's a smaller family and they're wanting performance, this is definitely the way to go, but it's definitely gonna take me to some pros and cons. Starting off with the pros, I like the drive to minis. I always feel that they're a little bit more playful and athletic on the disadvantage. They have increased the price over the years where it really puts you into a lot more performance variant vehicles and it's sad because because that's why Mini gets that rap of, they're not really that fast, but they are pretty quick. 5.9 seconds is a lot faster than the majority of the vehicles on the road. Some other pros about the car is how intuitive it is. BMW has basically given their iDrive system and they call it the Mini Drive, or the Mini iDrive, I should say, in which the LED rings, they're utilized for multiple things. The 8.8 .8 inch touchscreen has a lot of connectivities in it, except it does not have Android Auto. The seats are going to be more sporty, but it's still easy for somebody that's tall like me to enjoy. Look at this thing. Now you will hear a lot more road noise. We have upgraded wheels. We also have the performance tires, so it's gonna make it a little bit more noisy of a ride. And it's a little bit of a box structure. So when you're considering it's a near 50-50 weight distribution, that's pretty good for a car this size, just a touch under 3,000 pounds. It is 100 pounds heavier than the S. And when you start configuring the S 
to get the Resolute package and to get the Iconic trim, you're gonna be just around $5,000 difference. So for me, it's kind of a no-brainer because I understand it's only 0.5 seconds quicker, zero to 60, but the exterior styling alone gives that package of JCW. To really feel it, it's gonna be more at three and four RPMs throughout your daily drive. If you're in the two RPMs, you're gonna be sipping fuel a little bit more so, but to hear that exhaust filter in, so it kind of gives a little bit of that sound deadening, you really want it to be over two RPMs. For some cons, the back seat, it's doable. It's just not going to be as comfortable because there's so much more harder materials. And even in the front, going on a long journey, it's a lot harder where you're resting your arms and the mini drive is, like I was saying in the interior, too low. They should have maybe picked up the center console and just gave it a little bit more of a soft material because everywhere you're gonna hear this. And as for the rivals, for another 10 grand, I know it sounds like a lot, but when you're already at 45,000, you can pretty much option a Civic Type R, or you can get a Volkswagen Golf R, which will have a lot more performance underneath it, but this is gonna be more of a daily use vehicle in the sense that the suspension is not going to be as firm, even though it's tuned by the JCW. So optioning this over the S, Personally, I would say go for this because you're getting the more power, you're getting a tuned suspension, upgraded brakes, the wheels, the aesthetics, everything looks a lot more sporty, except for in the interior. I kind of wish they would have done like the Resolute where they put it on the dash or put something for JCW to just illustrate that this is the performance line and everything is upgraded. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Check out the next video, merchandise, website, and Instagram. Leave a comment and a like. And I'd like to thank many of Wesley Chapel for giving us this 2024 Mini John Cooper Works for our car review.